In one sentence, Saturn in Aquarius is about examining your life to identify potential areas for improvement. Aquarius energy is all about sharing knowledge in imaginative ways, being original and having strong opinions. The vibration is steadfast, intellectual, aloof, detached and impartial, seeing truth rather than conforming to personalities and society's rules. Saturn in Aquarius wants us to develop our non-conformist attitudes and challenge the status quo, not in sporadic ways, rebelling without a proper course, what to go against the crowd and what others think in a practical, well thought out and researched way because this transit can get some disgruntled, especially those with strong first, fifth, eighth, ninth, eleventh and twelfth house energies. Also, those with strong Uranus, Aries, Leo, Sun or Scorpio energies in their natal chart as well, as well as those with Mars, Neptune, Aquarian, Pisces, Jupiter and Sagittarius placements or aspects. It's important to remember that they are consequences for exhibiting hot-headed, impulsive behaviour and breaking laws, so just be careful. Try and be a rebel with a purpose rather than just being destructive with it because being destructive with this energy will not get you anywhere. For example, if you're inflexible and unwilling to compromise, others may eventually rebel against you. You may also have to face severe consequences if you use bullying tactics or engage in other harmful behaviours. Instead of trying to stand out above the rest, which will likely backfire, try to understand and respect the rules that are already in place. This doesn't mean shying away from non-conformist attitudes or behaviours. It means being thoughtful, once again, very pressing, when taking action. Don't go too far or make drastic changes all at once without first considering the outcomes and the implications. Following these guidelines will minimise the chance of getting into trouble while still achieving your goals. Instead, find the balance between respecting the past and its traditions and blending it with new futuristic ideas and actions. Saturn in Aquarius is teaching us that sometimes you must put rules and regulations in place to be free and liberated. Now is the time to make your mind up and call it a day and all the stuff that isn't bringing you joy. So go ahead and let go of all these lost courses that have been dragging you down, especially your own wayward expectations, behaviours. A sacrifice will have to be made to reach your goals. So you know, Saturn is a real stickler for definitions, structures, order and commitments and discipline. Like a strict parent who won't let you stay up past your bedtime. So (laughs) when we are asked to follow the rules of Saturn, it can feel like our freedom is in jeopardy. Yet Saturn in Aquarius just wants us to follow the rules to have authentic freedom. As a consequence of people becoming more forward thinking, and more socially aware about social injustices and things because Aquarius is also the sign of social change and this is why sometimes it brings sudden events. There's likely to be changes in friendships, science, technology. More people may use things like astrology, numerology and other alternative healing methods to help change society at this time as well and also give more human rights to individuals across nations. Right now in our world, a lot of people don't have the freedoms that they should have, so there may be either a big change in freedoms or more restriction. But because we're talking about Saturn in Aquarius, I think there will be a balance between bringing about more freedoms but also keeping the structures of order and traditions as well. When the majestic Saturn is in Aquarius, the optimistic energies of the Aquarian can be felt all round with an abundance of innovative ideas for how to better the lives of others. Aquarius is a powerful sign of humanitarianism and collaboration. Saturn in Aquarius has an eye towards keeping together the collectives. Sometimes it's simply a matter of taking care of yourself and this helps improve the world. For some of you, it could be coming up with grand concepts or accomplishing tasks and projects that will benefit all people. As Saturn sits into Aquarius, it can become clear 
that taking personal responsibility for your own life can positively affect our collective environment. We have the opportunity to make a positive contribution to society if we are prepared to manage our physical, emotional, spiritual, psychological and financial health. When Saturn is in Aquarius, it is empowered and in its element. This is because in astrology, Saturn is dignified in Aquarius. So this means it's the best place for Saturn to be. So now is the perfect opportunity to put your dreams, aspiration, efforts into action and do your best to improve your relationships, especially the relationship you have with yourself. Right now, Saturn will also put all relationships to the test and all that are not good will be removed from your life or should be removed because you know us humans can cling on to things we need to let go of and this is why most of the dramas in the world happen. The transit of Saturn in Aquarius is an opportunity to start or deepen a relationship, a real intimate one or friendship, something with like-minded people. This energy encourages people to come together and go beyond what they can do on their own. Becoming more committed to relationships, projects, careers and becoming more full of energy and being open to the potential to work for long periods of time and to make the changes that are necessary and that will bring you long lasting rewards and experience. Saturn calls for a straightforward, clear cut, realistic and authentic approach when influencing our charts. Saturn also tests us a lot of tests, a lot of restrictions, but don't do this because Saturn gets fun and gets amusement out of seeing us all crash and burn, but rather to benefit us in the long run. Saturn will uncover areas of our lives that require attention and improvement. It's a perfect moment to cut ties when Saturn is in Aquarius with those who drain your energy and stop your growth. Embrace your authentic self, stay true to who you really are, be candid and frank, direct, you know, to say it out is, cut the ball crap, set your limits, be principled and accepting. When Saturn transits Aquarius, aim to establish sustainable relationships or alliances based on similar values and objectives rather than loss or superficial connections. It would be best if you surround yourself with the people and activities that truly make you feel energised and enthusiastic and leave the rest behind, especially toxic thoughts or toxic energy drainer type people. Every breath you take when Saturn is in Aquarius is a reminder to cut the negativity and toxicity out of your life and focus on what brings you joy and helps you reach your full potential. Let go of whatever or whoever it is that has been holding you back and instead embrace the opportunities and people that can help you reach the next level of your journey. Although letting go is not easy, Saturn's desire to slow down and become more detached is a blessing. Still, taking our time to reach inner equilibrium is key when dealing with Saturn. It is natural for us to try and control or hold on to destructive relationships, but that can be an uphill battle with lots of disappointments. Rally around the people and things that make you feel alive and leave the rest in the dust. Now is the time to reclaim your energy and make your dreams a reality. Take in a hard look at your social life, ideals and principles, your beliefs, who you associate you with, the group activities you do, the contributions you make to yourself and others and your involvement in the community. Do you need to slow down or do you need to put more effort in? It may be a time if you do overwork yourself and overburn yourself to slim down, streamline and simplify your commitments right now rather than try and do too much or carry on doing too much and wear yourself thin. Focus your energy on a couple of meaningful activities. Do things that make you feel alive and empowered and also take time to look after your overall well-being. I discussed that more in a bit. Because if you do this, the payoff will be infinitely more rewarding than attempting to tackle too many tasks at once. To gain the most from this time, we must be willing to let some opportunities go to live a more balanced and rewarding life. 
As ruler of the 11th house, which controls groups and visions, Aquarius brings a surge of hope and optimism that we can create a better world for all. The 11th house in astrology is the house of organisations, groups and social consciousness as well as spirituality and futuristic ideas and ways of life. It's a place of deep insight into the collective and our connectedness to others and ourselves. We can trace our relationships to the collective through the love we receive, our goals, hopes and wishes and not only the love we receive but also the love we give. It can also be perfect energy to give us that sense of wanting to help others, that sense of charity and the desire to help those in need. Some of you may even foster a child or pet, you know, in... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> not to laugh but you know you never know I was going to say a plant you know you know some people are, do that so some of you be fostering looking into taking in a child or children that are not your own or a pet that's not your own or pets or a plant or just something that's not your own deciding to become the caretaker of these children or animals also some of you may give more to those who live in poverty or are otherwise distressed and in need of support Ultimately, when Saturn is in Aquarius, it's a reminder of our interconnectedness and how we can come together and say a purpose. We can make a real difference in the world by doing so. Visionaries, inventors and creators can rejoice. This vibration is idea for becoming detached and healthfully working through psychological and emotional issues. Aquarian energy is often seen as being ethereal, otherworldly, but when Saturn is present, it provides the necessary grounded and practicality to make the most of it, bringing those ideas down to earth a little bit. All in all, when Saturn is transiting in Aquarius, it's essential to focus on constructing reliable and long-term relationships. Sometimes this requires cutting ties with associations that are not beneficial, whether they are romantic, platonic or professional. It's also a great time to get rid of unnecessary commitments and focus on what matters most. So you may prefer quality over quantity in all things. It's a time to leave wistful thinking behind and make something real our knowledge of the past and vision of the future can help make meaningful decisions and achieve great success let's leave our egos at the door and work with all the different dimensions of your personality and other people in healthy ways to bring positive change and balance not only into our own lives but also into the lives of the human collective Because we're dealing with Uranus and Aquarius here, this is really a good time to think of new scientific, spiritual, technological inventions or ideas, projects, way of life or relationships or communities that can provide more organisation and structure and your sole purpose is to make the world better for everyone. On the health level, when Saturn's in Aquarius, look after your circulatory system. So this includes your legs, your spine and your ankles. This will be a priority. Be sure to take special care of your body in general. Get enough sleep, exercise and chill out time for optimal health and well-being. If we want to ensure that our goals last, grow and become stronger. We need to put in the effort to make it happen. Saturn in Aquarius is here to remind us of that fact that, you know, we can have these big ideas and stuff, but if we don't take practical action, then they just remain dreams. In this period of tremendous transition, you may find yourself making a host of questions like, have we become sufficiently accountable in our respective communities? Are existing legal, government and societal, educational, medical frameworks adequate to help all of those in the world? And as we know, they're not. Are global resources truly being said equal? And they're not. So how can we make them be said more equally? How can you do your part in that? Because you know the burden's not on one person, it's on all of us as a collective. On the individual level... You may want to focus on making a proper plan so that you can reach your goals and ensure your overall well-being over the next couple of years while Saturn is in Aquarius. So over the next couple of years, as we face a lot of changes as individuals and as a world, 
it's up to us to take a hard look at the current state of our own lives and the world and ask ourselves what kind of world we all want to live in. We have the power as individuals to create a world of peace, equality and justice, even if we just bring these into our own life and we can create peace, justice and equality for all if we all fight for it. When Saturn is transiting in Aquarius, the possibilities are endless and we can achieve these things, although they may seem woo-woo and even more woo-woo in these current times and stuff, but some of us have to be optimistic, eh? So, yeah, Saturn in Aquarius gives us a valuable lesson that freedom comes not from escaping or numbing ourselves and running away from our responsibilities or, you know, breaking the rules for all sakes, but for accepting and learning from the consequences of our successes and failures. Now is a good moment to make a decisive choice and move on from activities that do not bring you contentment, that are toxic and unhealthy to your overall well-being, as I said earlier. So it's advisable to abandon any negative situations, goals or relationships that have proven to be a waste of time and energy. It's completely necessary for you to get rid of any unhelpful thoughts because these negative thoughts create destructive behaviors and these behaviors lead to destructive relationships so you know it all starts in the mind so letting go of any toxic thought patterns that hold you back also looking into the ways that you've been expecting too much from other people being too egotistical or demanding or controlling letting go of being cocky and boastful and prideful careless or arrogant and seeking perfection because being egotistical being like oh everything's got to be perfect is just the same thing and procrastinating as well and now is the time to do all the things that you say that you've wanted to do even if some of these things you've been saying year in and year out for the last 20 years and you think oh you know I've got no more time to do these things it's never too late to live the life that you really want to live and although I said you know this energy is about changing the world know that each person can only do what they can do to make this happen the focus must be on bringing health and enjoyment and peace into your own life first before you try to even bring these qualities out in others Saturn in Aquarius wants us to take a more minimalistic approach to making our life a reality reaching out to advisors professionals and those with natural insight if you feel stuck and be more direct and genuine with yourself and others Take advantage of this energy to focus on distinctive, meaningful, unique and profound ventures and relationships aiming to improve the areas of your life that need it. Why not take the time to develop your innate gifts, learn new skills or refine your personality and just open yourself up to deep, meaningful relationships for some of you on the romantic front. Saturn in Aquarius is going to bring maybe a Saturn person and you may be, oh no, the two horrible, you know, the two strict. For some of you, you're going to get like a futuristic kind of out there, out of the box thinker as a lover or friend. And at first you may reject these connections because they may not like be like the people you normally meet but if you just stay open to the endless possibilities some of you would just get these ideas and you'd be like oh no I could never make this dream of reality this is crazy try and stick with it research look into it find the right resources and tools to move forward with these crazy ideas don't ignore red flags because they're bigger red flags but just open your heart to a better life for not only you but for everyone in the world so yeah that's transiting Saturn in Aquarius